Ow, ow, ow. It hurts. Everything hurts. This is how I get out of bed now. Are you guys just gonna sit there or are you gonna help me? It hurts to cough, it hurts to laugh, it hurts to breathe. But most importantly, it hurts to poop. If there is one thing that I have learned in this entire week, it is that I am not the same fit, strong, three sport athlete that I was in high school. The probably like 70 pounds that I've gained since high school has really hit me hard this week. All I'm saying is if you're considering doing this, proceed with caution, but also it is possible to get through it, okay? You don't have to be a pro, nor do you already have to be a skinny legend. This is the moment most of you've been waiting for. This is my week one, Chloe Ting two week shred update. I would like to say thank you for patiently waiting for this video. My life has been kind of crazy. I thought I had a month to move out of my apartment. Turns out I only had one week. This entire past week was literally spent between this house and my old apartment. Everything is out of my old apartment and I never have to go back. So that's why this video is just a smidge late. If you're only here to watch a thick girl work out, and by thick I mean with the CK and not a CC, you can skip to this time right here. I'm probably gonna do a lot of talking in this video. If you're just here for the workout portion, you can skip ahead. Before you skip ahead, please Please keep in mind that this challenge is so much more than the working out and that is something that I've learned this week. We're just gonna have a quick little intimate chat about this past week and what has it been like for me. I want to address the obvious. I don't have abs yet. I don't want you to get discouraged if you're doing this and you don't have abs in three days because trust me, I was checking in the mirror to see if my abs magically floated to the front. Spoiler alert, they didn't. So many good things have happened since starting it and I just feel like we need to talk about it. A few days ago, I woke up, got ready to go move out of my apartment, noticed I was getting a couple of messages, you know, just a few, and then all of a sudden I was getting like hundreds of messages, and then thousands of messages. I was confused. It quickly was brought to my attention that the queen herself, Chloe Ting, reacted to my fat ass, that's with a P-H-A-T, because we respect ourselves. She reacted to my first video. <laughs> Right. No, you're doing it right. Do it, girl. Do it. <laughs> Good job in doing the second workout, girl. <laughs> so glad I found her video because she's so funny and so cute. Stop. And entertaining. So guys, go to her channel and send her some love. I want to see her results video. We all want to see her results video, right? I felt a little bit of pressure and I don't perform well under pressure, but I'm just going to do my thing and hopefully it works out. So if you're watching this, I'm trying. I really don't want to disappoint. If you are new from Chloe's channel, hi, hello. We're kind of weird and I stopped trying to be normal a long time ago. Probably the main question that I've been getting is how have the workouts been going? They are hard. They haven't gotten easier. You aren't going to get in shape in one week. They kick your... So that's me like self-censoring. I didn't realize that there were days where you had to do more than two videos. In fact, there are days where you have to do four videos. I've learned I can go at my own pace. I don't know what I was saying because my camera decided to be rude and run out of storage. Something I've noticed is I am sleeping so much better. I'm going to bed way earlier just because I'm simply exhausted and I'm also waking up earlier. Chloe Tang can give you abs and she can fix your sleep schedule. I also got my period this week which was kind of discouraging at first because I don't get sore boobies and I don't get and eh, maybe I do become a little bit of a bitch I get super emotional I get really bad cramps but by far my worst period symptom is bloating I become my own hot air balloon festival okay people would pay tickets to see me float around on my period I don't know why I bloat so bad if you guys have tips for bloating on your period let me know I have heard that I'm working out on your period is good and we're just 
pushing through. I'm hoping within the next couple of days I will deflate to reveal newly formed abs. I also found my koala pants while I was moving. So even though moving was stressful because I didn't have time to work and talk to you guys and honestly talking to you guys is one of the only things that makes me happy in life. It's over now so I'm back. At least I found my koala pants. There's always a silver lining. That's pretty much the only things that I really have to say regarding week one. Like I said it's a couple of days past week one at this point. Who knows? Maybe we'll keep going and do a 28 day challenge instead. I almost forgot something so important. I upgraded and got a pair of tennis shoes. I haven't been wearing Fila's. I've been wearing these instead. I'm so bloated. I just chugged a ton of water. If any of you guys are insecure about stretch marks, don't be. Look at those. Would you look at that? I wouldn't stress over it too much. To be quite honest with you, I don't think anyone really cares. So now that I've talked about my week and how it's been, I was gonna kind of show you guys like what a day in my life during the challenge looks like, but it's already nighttime. I've been trying to not binge. I found a snack that helps me, so I wanna share it with you because I know some of you guys might struggle too. That's okay. I struggle a lot, especially on my period. So this snack has been helping. Okay, so this isn't for nutritional value, it's just for when I wanna binge. So I take these little Jolly Rancher packets and some crushed ice. If you don't have an ice crusher, um, just sit on it. In case you didn't know, this is what crushed ice looks like up close. This is my sad attempt at doing a TikTok transition. I'm not in the mirror, I'm inside you. What? What? But once you have your crushed ice, you're just gonna take your powder and you're gonna sprinkle it all over and just shake it all up. Don't use too much though, because it gets way too sour and it's not very good. But this literally tastes just like a snow cone and there's no sugar in it. Most of the time I'm eating out of boredom, so this helps me get past my binge cravings. I'm eating it right now, see? I kind of wanted a change of scenery and I was gonna go outside. The guy is mowing his lawn. I also don't know how I feel about people watching me work out, even though all of you guys are technically watching. I'm gonna try and show you guys some of the moves that I didn't show you in my last video. I'm trying so hard Stop slow if you're new to this because it can be quite tricky at first. Good things come to those who wait. Yeah, I bet that you wish you had this rug. Plank jazz. Bless me, I'm sick of thing you ever. So contagious. Up next is up and down planks. Jesus, I don't really need you for this one. I'm oh, so good, I don't need anybody else. It feels so good when I just do it by myself. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this the Krusty Krab? No! This is Patrick! It's a prophecy. I don't recommend working out on a rug. It doesn't have a screen. That doesn't have something holding it down. We have to stretch because that's the only thing keeping me mobile. When did I get so thick?
just bought these today so they're kind of new to my routine I wanted some vitamins and I wanted vitamins that were for my hair this container is quite small it was from Target these ones which said they were hormonal rebalancing I'm not quite sure what that does but it says support your hormones mood which like I mentioned I can be a bitch sometimes and minimize bloating yeah I read all of that and I wanted it both of them say to take two daily I'm not really sure when's the best time to take vitamins but we're just gonna full send it Ooh, they're minty. But you know how vitamins usually have that nasty, like, aftertaste smell? This could be quite smart. As per usual, I'm drinking two of these a day, but I think how much water you need depends on your weight. Don't listen to me. I'm not a professional. These say beauty. These say hormonal. So they're kind of cute. I'm going to go wash my face and brush my teeth. We're going to head to bed. This is not going to be a good angle for me, but who cares? This has nothing to do with the challenge. I'm aware of that. But honestly, I just feel like I haven't spent much time with you lately. We're going to have some bonding. I took my hair extensions out. I don't know if I'm going to get them put back in or not. This quarantine has forced me to work on accepting my natural self. I mean, I don't have fillers. I'm just naturally plump. I usually have eyelash extensions. For a couple months, I've had hair extensions in. Last fall, I think like 40% of my hair fell out. Honestly, I think it was just from like malnutrition, which you might be laughing at me because I'm the chubby girl. I was basically not eating for a few months. And then stress, I think, just caused it to fall out. So when playlists rolled around, I wanted to get extensions so I wouldn't have to be insecure about my hair, which I know is stupid. I couldn't get them moved up, so we had to take them out because of quarantine. I just forgot how thin my hair was. So today when my mom helped me like remove them, it was honestly really upsetting. I just want to focus on taking care of like my body. By taking care of my body, I'm hoping my hair can return to its natural state. So fingers crossed, we'll see. I still don't have my lash extensions. I know this is probably closer than you ever thought we would ever be. These are my real lashes. Lash extensions should not hurt your natural lashes. And if they are affecting your natural lashes, then your lash lady is doing it wrong. Look at all these lashes. And I had them on for a year and a half straight. This is surreal. There's nothing like a cold jade roller after a long day. Prettiest kitties. They're too innocent. I can't move them. I wish I had something more exciting to show you, but I'm going to go to sleep so I can wake up and get a bunch of unpacking done. I'll include some pictures. I have a long way to go. Make sure you subscribe if you want to come on this journey with me. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are interested. Honestly, it would just mean the world to me if you guys would do this with me. It's really easy to feel like you're alone sometimes, and it's nice knowing that I'm not less than for struggling so much. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Instagram's definitely the best place to reach me. I get to as many DMs as I possibly can. Anytime that I have a moment and I am free, I'm usually on my couch answering DMs from you guys. So I would love to talk to you guys. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and leave me a DM and we can have a little conversation. The next update will be in a week. Oh, look it. Bye.